手置きを見せてやる Alright, so in this one with Ultra DBZ Broly coming tonight, literally in like. What?、Uh, is there extra maintenance actually tonight? I assume it's just five hours from now. After.、Uh, well, no. Wait. Can't do that. Ten? Twelve? Seven hours from now.、Um, I assume, right? Yeah. Coming at 2 a.m. at reset here. I feel like this is a good time to touch on this basis. And, you know, maybe. This will change with the Broly, but I just want to touch on how Ultras have aged, right? Specifically, s o m b l e ones, so I can really just, uh. Actually, can I sort, sort them out of here?、Um, I guess I can't, huh?、Mm. How could. Whatever, we'll leave it like this. But, s o m b l e Ultras, how they've aged, how they've grown from their initial、uh, feeling to where they are now, and what their power creep and, you know, power creptness. Has done to them and for them. And again, I don't know how I feel about Broly. I'll say at least in a concrete manner, he seems like a top seven unit, right? Probably even top five because of the teams he's on. You know, you look at movies, that's a big purple. I don't know if I would go on to like 14 stars to、so、like a 8 star Broly's better. Probably not, but you know, the safety aspects of it, people could value that. It's all up to your discretion of usage of units. By the way, if you are new and enjoy the content, feel free to subscribe. We are attempting to hit 16,000 subscribers. Um, before Halloween, so we could do a little、uh, costume video. But nonetheless, Ultras.、Um, so we're going to look at the first one, obviously, Mr. Ultra Gogeta here, and we compare the、uh, intrinsic values. Obviously, I will touch on Broly. I can't touch him as much because we don't have him. We can't use him yet. By the way, we'll do a song video, probably with Virgil.、Um, I mean, probably the next like, day or two, honestly. We'll get that up quick as possible. Maybe even drunk some, but nonetheless. Gogeta, his aging. So, this man is nine months, approaching ten months old, and he is obviously the best aging one. People consider him a top two unit, number one unit, number three unit, top three minimum, right? How his aging has w e n t has been only good.、Uh, this is probably the only ultra we actually have right now that's sonable. Again, these are only sonable ones that has had very good aging. It's never been like this down bad situation of. Hey, Gogeta's not even top 10. No, he's never been there. Vegito's not been there as well. Vegito's a lot newer, so we'll touch on that in a second. And I think Vegito actually could fall in a very、uh, hard hitting manner. Not now, but very possibly soon with how they're doing buffs. But I'll touch on that when we get to him. Gogeta, though, he's been top 10, top 5. Like, he was only removed from number 1 when the androids came out. The androids are number 1 for literal months. He was only removed from number 1 when Ultra Kyle Ken had boost. Which kind of, kind of got off boost? He was number one. Like, this guy retained his value for a very long time. Even today, he has had the retention of just being that guy,、uh, not being replaced on any of his teens, because he is on what? Super Saiyans, okay? Run him there. Blue, blue, whatever.、Uh, movies, run him there. Fusions, no reason to replace him. Vegeta Blue's not better than him. Etc., etc., etc. He has a very finite kit that knows what it wants to do, right? He wants to get his gauge, he wants to heal from his gauge. He wants to have, you know, blue card inch equips, ultimate equips. He wants to have the situation of, I remove your vanish. Sure, you might rush my other ally. You got no vanish. You're locked in. I'm neutral. I'm being the shit out of you. He has a very concrete kit that goes in the flow of what he wants. And you know how to use him just by reading. Like you could see it. He has card draw speed. He wants to build up to his gauge. He wants to get that gauge. He wants to do his ultimate during scenarios of nullifying endurance. If not just having nullifying endurance available to the future of the matchup, he has a very. Clean cut kit that everyone can understand and cohesively do, with also being a super powerful unit. So, him, perfect.、Uh, this is probably the perfect, most perfect unit in aging that's in the entire game, like ever, the entire game's history. This is probably the most perfect aging unit. Because it's not essentially that he's broken, overpowered, it's just that his consistent basis of this blue card is showing your hand, of his neutral, of his lock in, of these just. Three little small details that he does have, because really that's the main three, right? Those are so done in a perfect manner, it can't be debated. He is just a perfect aging unit. It, it, it's great, it's fantastic. But now we go to somebody, and I don't know if this will make a trend from Ultra Kyle Ken, because we see a little bit of a dip on Vegito, and maybe he has a little bit of a flaw in his kit. There's a little bit of flaws in some of these other two Ultra's kits. Gogeta, really no flaw. The Kaioken, 
We can look at him. We understand he has a flaw. One, his Z ability. Um, he's range type and he's getting double defense. That's just not it. Ultra Gito, he's defense type getting double defense. Fine, I get it. That makes sense. But like, let the range type hit, give Blast Z ability. That's one actual flaw that that makes sense. Broly has not an equivalent flaw because he wants to tank, I guess. But like, he has double defense ultra uh, for his Z ability. And it's like, could have just been this or that. You know, it. It's not the biggest flaw, but it's a flaw, right? You got the point out flaws, there's a flaw there. Now, continuing on, Ultra Kaioken, he doesn't have anything just intrinsically bad. Like, if I were to read his kit, I'm thinking, okay, he wants to come in, he wants to seal the enemy strikes, um, and with that situation, you do your combo, do your green cards, you ramp up, you go, 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 then you're kind of vibing. The issue with him is less on him than... It could be on the others because the others well they're fusions well they're super saiyans well they're this or that they're more hype characters ultra kyo ken this man's meant to be well wanting it to be on a team more i guess you could say uh catered toward a god key type build right because you think of him and it's not like he can just flow anywhere you can't just slap ultra kyo ken on a team and be like you know what he's gonna pop off he's gonna carry me especially right now just not it right now because obviously he's yellow you know, let's take a back foot, you know, two yellows here, taking a back foot, and the uh, ultra purple is probably going to be a little bit better than, I would say both yellows, because coolers is so crazy, but nonetheless, Ultra Kyle Ken, he has good cohesiveness in his kit, but he doesn't have a team for it, again, you look at Gogeta, man's going to have movies, man's going to have Super Saiyans, man's going to have fusions, Vegito, same exact thing, just remove the movies part of it, Kyle Ken, I don't know what his solo meant issue is, I wish I could point it out, but I really don't know. Maybe it is this, a little bit of his own kit, where it's only next arts damage inflicted when he uh, gets the gauge for those next arts. But I don't really see a full uh, issue with him. Like, any, like I, if I read his kit, I'm like, dude, this is probably like a top three unit. But he is not anywhere close to that. Maybe it could be a stat problem, because he has the same damage inflicted numbers as Gogeta. Just to compare, 262, 264... And yeah, one's a range type, one's a strike based. It's really not that big of a difference. The uh, higher, you know, thing that they want to do is 5k differential. Like, I, I don't really know what his glaring issue is besides team, but he had an issue of this man was number one with a boost. He had green, green, yellow. Uh, was he Zenkai most of the time? Sure. Did he need it? Probably not. But he had double support. This is kind of an issue that you see with a lot of units where GV, well, they came out, they were triple Zenkai buffed, double supported, and then they were popping off as number one, right? That was the team you were running into with Mono Purple. You have kind of a similar situation with Dragon Fist, where he came out, okay, Zenkai buff him, then run with Tapion, and now he's a top five unit. Well, you see it with the boost uh, leaving his, you know, crack starting to show, and with Tapion just losing value because of Yellow's losing value, Dragon Fist crack starts to show. Kaioken had the exact same experience, actually, as you could say for Dragon Fist, to where the crack started to show after boost, you notice that, okay, well, he's Zenkai buffed, but he's still not doing the most crazy output. He has double support, and he's still not doing the most crazy output. Why am I using this guy? And I really don't get why they just didn't help God Key more. Bro, he was run with Vados. Vados is not new. She came out when double switching first arrived. Double switching? That was near, like, I don't know, October, right? October of when VB dropped, that year of when VB dropped. She's that old, and this guy was forced to run with her. It's not to say Vados is the worst thing in the world, but, like, the age. Units are aging, and he just had complete asswater partners. I think he's a fine individual unit, but that's not what matters. That's the thing. Units that just have better teams are going to age better, and Kaioken is a uh, cripple situation in that to where he just couldn't could he get the rhythm and they still don't care enough to give him the rhythm which i feel bad for kyle ken he really is a solid unit he probably is like an individual this game's not individual but individually dude he he has to be like a top 10 unit individually like there's nothing that he does that's bad like if i compare what he does to gogeta prior to gogeta getting his like login situation and all this bullshit i think kyle ken's better solo than gogeta but yet I mean, you look at, like, a tier list, you'll know Kaioken is nowhere near anywhere of Gogeta's threshold. It's a team problem. 
it's right now a color problem. Kaioken fell down hard. I truly do wonder um, for other unit sakes that are, you know, more more pandered to their kit being crazy, but, you know, their uh, teams not being the most wild things after a short amount of time, how they will age. I don't know if Broly will fall in this category. I don't think he will because he has movies, he has PO, he has Super Saiyan. Like, this man has a lot of teams, right? He should be fine in a technical sense. But I do wonder, units like Kaioken, where their team never gets, like, an actual buff for their team. Like, we got MUI, we got uh, that uh, fucking top Vegeta, we got hella god units, Beerus, Whis. But none are actual buffs to Kaioken. They don't go with Kaioken. They go with others. You know, Beerus Whis go with MUI. Um, top Vegeta goes with, I don't know, fucking Jiren or some bullshit. Nothing goes with this unit. And it, it just hurt his fate, man. Because right now, he's... He's not thriving. Maybe with purples rising up, maybe they get us a good god key unit from, uh, I don't know, the Broly movie, a Super Saiyan God Goku from there, and then boom, this guy's a partner, yellow and green, stop the blues, maybe even do something else similar to that, make him not fucked over by Cooler with his ally. I don't know, but he's had a problem for a good minute, and it's really not his own fault. I feel bad for him, but it's not his own fault. And then the last one here, again, I'll touch on Broly at the end. But the last one being Ultra Vegito. I think with Vegito, he actually has equivalent amount of flaws to some LFs. Uh, Vegito has just two things I really dislike about him. And it's not anything too glaring. Again, Kyle, can I point out? Does he ability? That's probably the only thing I really dislike. Maybe that next Arsene Inflicted could have been for two arts instead of one. Fine. Whatever. You know, nitpick away. But Vegito... I like his stats. I like his E ability. But what I don't like is his counter. Like, I do not like how his counter is. I think it is a very uh, botched way to make a counter. Uh, it's kind of like Sword of Hope, where his is very botched to where it does something. Uh, well, gauge, I guess you could call it. Gauge mechanic. It does something. It can help you, but does it do anything that's so outlandish where you feel need that it's actually useful in comparison to the whole kit? Not really. Um, you know, next strike arts damage afflicted for two timer counts for that, you know, counter, that's great. The null cover change is great, but just giving him that anywhere else in his kit. Like what if he just got null cover change on like his main ability instead of in the gauge? I feel like he got neutered because of how good Gogeta is. Similar vein to Broly has a little bit of a holdbacks to me at least, from what I read. We don't know his full full kit, we know about 90% of it. We don't know the lock-in situation for him, but there's some holdbacks to Broly, I feel like, that are there because Cooler's so good. Now, I feel like Vegito has a similar vein to where his gauge, there's a holdback. That, is this really a gauge that you're thinking, yeah, this is top tier? Like, the unit's top tier. But is this gauge matching the unit value? I, I don't see it, but on release, Vegito obviously had become number one because not in the solo fact of himself, but again, the issue Kaioken kind of uh, devolved into is that he went from having a team to not having a team. Vegito retained his team, obviously. He had Gogeta, he had Vegito, the counter to the droids, blue and yellow, ah la la, you got a situation of boom boom, you stopped the droids. But from then on, Legend said, oh, Vegito's very powerful, well, it's time to drop the big bad man that stops Super Saiyans. And then from there, Vegito has lost his value. He was number one, again. Uh, he was number one for, I would say, his entire boost. I, I think people uh, like to debate him between the droids and USG, and I could see the debate, but I think individually, and, you know, he was an individual unit at that point, just 1v3-ing. Uh, even though it's a 3v3 game, you know, he had the safety net so easily of Gogeta, it just felt like he is the team as Mr. Vegito. Like, again, you have the team, but he felt like the entire team while having the backup of number two of Ultra Gogeta. It just was unfair with him. But then from there, we get a color counter to him, basically, to where he gets screwed over even. His green cards get destroyed because Cooler destroys green cards when landing strike cards, so he can't even go neutral. Even more so, another problem where I feel like they held back a little bit with Vegito. Green card being a long animation. He's the only Ultra that's summonable has a long animation. Out of any. No other Ultra that is, honestly... Does any, like even free ones, do any have long animations? I think Vegito's the only one. Maybe Omega has one like green. Well, no, Goku and Vegeta have one. Fine, fine. 
but summonable, which is really what matters because you're comparing them. He's the only one with a long animation. I understand the green card is very good. Like, trust me, it has really good value going neutral. But uh, it's not so invaluable to where it's like, oh my god, this is something make or break every single match. Like, it helps. I get that it's comboable, but it just feels like there's a little bit of hold back on Vegito. A little bit. Again, this is not downplaying Vegito. It's just to say units will have a little bit more uh, withdrawn from them what they probably want, similar to the green card being long instead of short, these little nitpicks to where they will actually have a uh, just worse off time for themselves. Because if this were a quick animation green, what if I just run them with Whis? And I could just throw the green cards out against coolers. I wouldn't really care about cooler at that point, right? But I have to play so safe, so precautionary with Vegito. If I try to cover change, and let's say I have the green card, and I cover change it in, great. It's only five counts. It's not long enough to justify a long animation. To me, at least. You know, there's some things in this game where long animations are for fucking LFSV. He gets 30 key upon activation. Like, why the fuck does he have a long animation? We don't really know. But it probably is because, hey, this guy's Zenkai, well, we already have GV in the meta, so we have to hold this guy back in this aspect because we can't make this too good for this. But they fail to realize that, well, the meta will change anyways eventually, so just making an animation speed change won't affect the, you know, cream of the crop of the entire meta for years to come. It'll affect maybe like a month, but nothing insane there. And then... To touch on Broly, um, clearly we don't know everything about him. He does have a lock-in and a faint situation that we do know that will be, uh, I guess, told to us eventually with the details coming out. But from what I garner is that he's a little bit held back. He can lose card draw speed when he or the enemy switches because he builds up card draw speed by being in for six counts, right? He gets card draw speed, three counts, and then three more counts, so six counts. He has double card draw speed. He can lose that by the enemy being in. Not ideal. Um, again, I'm not trying to downplay I'm just saying what he does. Um, when he uh, has the enemy switches, or when he switches. Obviously, when he switches, it makes sense because he's fucking gone. But maybe that could be a bit of a negative there. Not full positive, at least, right? Then his gauge, there's a little bit of a negative to where it's kind of wasted, it seems, in some early game. Because how I think of it is, okay, he reduces my key by 30. He removes my vanish four times. Great. Awesome. So what if I just hypothetically am getting a combo done on him and then he removes my vanish? Why don't I just swap into unit that gets key on entry? Do you know how many units get key on entry nowadays? A lot of units. I feel like early game, his gauge is very much hindered. Like he hinders himself on the gauge actually because he gets 50% on entry for the gauge. I feel like that's just an innate, you know, why is he getting 50%? Now, if he builds it up in, like, four or five cards, that's just bad for the late game. But if he builds it up in, like, two or three cards, that's terrible for early game because you're going to you're gonna just lose the value of removing vanishes. I don't know a way that you can force your Broly, who needs to get hit, to get his gauge to make the removal of vanish early game viably, like, competent. Late game, it's great. Don't get me wrong. Again, there's just little nitpicks that I feel that were done where, like, Instead of, we'll turn it from like a 7 on the knob to like a 6 on the gauge. We'll make it so we'll give you the 50% gauge. Fine, fine. But their vanish removals, you're kind of wasting them a little bit early game. I, I don't know. I just feel like there is a little bit of a hurting coming on with him there. But ultra-wise, you see it with Gogeta. He's aged fantastic. He's been the best aging unit in the entire game probably at this point of Dragon Ball Legends. Kaioken, it's not his own fault, it's really his team's fault. Vegito, it's kind of a mixed bag of team and his own fault, because again, Gogeta being so good for so long, bet you money, they were like, hold on, Vegito, we understand you're Vegito, but we gotta like, pump the fucking brakes a little bit, let's make you a long animation, let's make you more defense type instead of a strike based unit, let's pump a little bit of brakes, and just allow your team to be very good, top tier, number one, no problem with that. But you are going to have a little bit more reliance on your partner of Gogeta. One, to make more money, because they want you to run both together, obviously. But two, because we can't just overdo you. Well, they can, but, like, they won't, because they don't want units to be, uh, 
I guess, more powerful than others, even though they should be as they're newer. I mean, I don't know. They shouldn't want units to age well, because that means less money for them. <laughs> Nonetheless, um, I feel a situation where Broly could come on that's similar to Vegito, and that's not a negative, by the way, like, in a full uh, situation, because Vegito was number one. So it's not like him having a little bit of a negative is the worst thing in the world, because he's still fucking number one. With Broly, I could see with Cooler being so impressive and oppressive um he has a little bit of holdbacks you know maybe his kit becomes more cohesive to me uh reading it when i see it in play and or just see the lock-in situation the faint situation how it does work because if this man locks in when x unit is an enemy or x tag is an enemy great the double card draw speed makes sense they're not gonna swap he won't swap like you just beat the shit out of them and if you do swap awesome they're still locked in so it doesn't fucking matter great but for what we know now I could just see a little bit of a holdback. And that's fine. Again, Vegeta was number one. My man's is held back. Kyle Ken. His team wasn't even like a real team. It wasn't competent. You're running fucking bottles. It wasn't a comp. It was a 2v3 team with Vegeta, Zenkai, and then Kyle Ken. But he was still number one, right? So I could see a situation. Broly could easily be fucking number one, number two, number three. Easily in the world. But I could also see a situation where there's a little bit of holdback. You could, not, you could kind of notice it more with the newer Ultras than the first Son of Ultra because there was nothing to hold a standard of. Gogeta's the highest standard. He's the best aging one. He's the only one that's aged in a top 10 manner for his entire lifespan. And maybe Vegito will do that. Maybe not. Kaioken's not. Broly, it seems that there's a little bit of a leeway done with him to where Kaioken had leeway team-wise. Vegito had leeway because his ally was so good and... On top of himself, there's a little bit of taken away from him. And Broly seems to have a little bit of the uh, taken away from him more than anything else, which we don't actually have yet. Like, Vegito has a mix. Kyle Ken has just the team issue to me. And then Broly will probably just have the solo issue, which probably is the worst issue, but team wise, he would still be fine, right? Let me know what I think of this. This is just more me going off what Ultras could be, how they are, and what they're doing with them. Um, to wrap up and summarize, I would just say, watch out. Ultra banners aren't good nonetheless. Um, yes, the units are top tier and broken and insane on release and always number one on their boost since uh, the first Ultra, right? You don't know about Broly if he will be number one. Maybe he will. Great. If he's not, well, I would say just watch out for that. You could see a little bit of drawbacks coming. Just, you know, don't attack. Be kind, be kind. Because I know people are being like, Oh my god, you're reading Broly so early! I'm really not. I'm just pointing out a flaw that I notice, and he has flaws. And to compare it to Gogeta, who has no flaws, you can kind of see a direction Legends is going. We're like, ah, well, this unit exists, so we gotta neuter this unit instead! You know? And Broly kind of seems to be a, uh... A situation to where that advantage of Cooler being so good makes Broly a little bit worse than what he could have been. I'm not gonna say he's bad. Okay, please, don't take the words out of context. <laughs> what do you guys think of this, you know, little comparison thing? If you guys are summoning for Broly, good luck. Wish you the best of it. And I'll see you guys in the next one for probably the breakdown, the showcase video, Super 17 showcase, because he's coming. No one gives a fuck, but he's coming out. And, um, I don't know what else. I don't know. See you guys in the next one.